Human hibernation. Could it change the world of medicine and remove space travel barriers? Everyone knows about the hibernation option available in computers. Upon hibernation, the computer saves the contents and upon resumption, computer as exactly as it was before it enters into hibernation. When it comes to animals, hibernation is a period of inactivity combined with lower metabolic rate and body temperature. This energy-saving strategy evolved in many animals to adapt with different climate conditions, like cold or dry seasons, that limit food supplies. Animals like bears, arctic ground squirrels, groundhogs will check out for several months just by lower their body's core temperatures, putting themselves in a state of dormancy for weeks or even months at a time. Reptiles, dormouse and even a few mammals, such as the Madagascan fat-tailed dwarf lemur, practice the warm-weather hibernation known as attestation, to avoid periods of drought or extreme temperatures. Although hibernation resembles a deep sleep, it may leave animals with a sleep debt after they awaken from hibernation. Can humans ever get the power of hibernation and what are the benefits if we could achieve this? The fat-tailed dwarf lemur is the only primates in the world known to hibernate for a long period of time. During torpor, state of decreased physiological activity in an animal by a reduced body temperature and metabolic rate. Lemur's heart rate drops from about 200 beats per minute to as low as 4 beats per minute. Its body temperature drops too, and becomes driven by the ambient temperature of the environment and hibernation can last up to 7 months. As lemurs are primates, humans share 97% of genes with them. Researchers are studying the DNA of remang 3% of genes that are not overlapped with humans, to learn the human hibernation. If researchers could figure out how these 3% of genes work in lemurs, then it could be a super useful tool in medicine and space research. Doctors currently uses a technique called therapeutic hypothermia. It's a kind of hibernation, which lowers the temperature of a person by a few degrees. With the lowered temperature, humans' metabolism decreases and they fall unconscious into a torpor state. This technique sometimes used for people who have a cardiac arrest. During cardiac arrest, blood doesn't flow to the organs of the body. The brain may not get enough blood and can cause permanent damage to the brain. Once the heart starts beating again, healthcare providers use cooling devices to lower your body temperature to around 32 degrees Celsius to 34 degrees Celsius for a short time. The heart has an electrical signal that helps to coordinate the heartbeat. If the signal is abnormal the heart may not be able to pump the right way and the person may be unable to regain consciousness. So lowering the body temperature right away after cardiac arrest can reduce damage to the brain and raises the chances that the person will recover. Even though therapeutic hypothermia is well understood in medical field, European Space Agency is investigating human hibernation and its possible way to enable long-duration space flight using this method. In addition, Space Works Enterprises, Inc., based at Atlanta, is already researching on a hibernation strategy that could conserve space and resources utilization during manned mission to Mars planned for the 2030s. Prolonged multi-year deep space travel to Mars in reduced gravity could also have significant adverse health effects, which could critically affect the safety of the mission and its voyager. Spaceworks also proposed a module, if we could spin that module at 20 rpm, crew inside the module would feel gravity same as Earth and if we spin at 11.8 rpm, it would feel like Mars gravity. By controlling the revolutions if the module proposed by space works, we could increase or decrease the gravity level on crews and they can overcome the negative effect of gravity during the current space trips.
Normally spinning that fast in a module would be uncomfortable as crew experience different forces at different parts of their body. But if crews are in a hibernation state they won't really care. So in next few years, we would probably see this science fiction idea might actually turn into reality and emergency hibernation and resumption could be extended to any critical care situation where time is a factor. Join us if you would like to receive more videos about new technologies, discoveries, innovations and lot more. If you learn anything new today, subscribe, like and share with friends.